am back with another nib review. Today we are once again pulling from our candy box of nibs. And I think today we're going to check out the Hero Leonard number 41. So it's got, I'm not really sure what this here does, but I'm sure we will find out while we play around with it. And I am looking for my Tachikawa nib holder and I'm not seeing it. So I may have to pull out another. Tachikawa, Tachikawa, Tachikawa. Nope, nope, oh, here it is. I had put it away like a good girl. <laughs> Silly past self. Don't you know, I'm a slob. Let's try it in here. Ah, ha, ha, perfect. Sometimes I gotta pull out the old speed ball. All right, so we are inking in our Denik Inktober notebook. We are inking with Dale Rowney FW Acrylic Ink in Payne's Gray. I'm gonna go ahead and write down the name. This is already a really nice writer. And then we're gonna get really zoomed in to Kara's cute little face. And we're just gonna start inking. And I've been trying to work through my ink hoard and doing these little reviews is actually not ink. My pen hoard, nib hoard. Like nid hog, but nib hoard. Been trying to work my way through it. And these little reviews have actually been really helpful and are going to help me have a record, both a visual record in the form of like an ink or a nib journal here in this notebook, as well as through these videos. And hopefully these videos have helped turn some of you guys on to some dip pin nibs that maybe you wouldn't have tried or maybe you've never seen in store so you didn't know they existed. And I think I picked this one up from the nib bar at Paper and Ink Arts. Did flex to it and it doesn't catch too much either. I wonder if, because it doesn't have any fins cut into it, so I wonder if the, oh, come on camera. What, I wonder if those insets that have been cut out along the, I want to call it a crown. I don't think it is a crown, but I'm sure crown will work and gives you an idea of what I'm talking about. I wonder if those are what are contributing to all the flex. That puts down a fair amount of ink, but we've really noticed that that's, and that's kind of a consistent thing. A lot of the Japanese nibs tend to be better at not putting down so much ink, and a lot of the crow quills are better at putting down not so much ink but a lot of the Western calligraphy and drawing nibs put down a lot of ink. But at least this one isn't cutting up my paper. It is causing it to buckle, but honestly, this Dennett, Dennick notebook is very prone to that anyway, which is why, in my opinion, it's not really a good inking thing. the paperweight is just too lightweight to really be a good inking paper. Sorry, Denik. It's 
a fairly fast ink or two. Or maybe I'm just inking fairly fast today. Usually though, when I ink too fast, it ends up looking pretty crummy. This one's holding it together fairly well, which is nice. First railroading of the day. All right, guys, that is the Leonard Hero number forty one. I found it an enjoyable nib to ink with. It's got good flex. It doesn't bite too much into the paper. It's actually fairly easy to control given how flexible it is. Um, just really not a bad nib. You can probably pick up your own on the Paper and Ink Arts website and you can check my description to a link. They sell a lot of their nibs open stock and they are not a sponsor, so this endorsement is just of my own volition, not volition, volition. And uh, there aren't a lot of stores that will allow you to buy just one nib open stock to see if you like it, but they do. And that's something I really appreciate because that's how I can test all these nibs and talk to you about all these nibs as I can afford a buck a piece, two bucks a piece, rather than a pack of 10 nibs that I might not ever use. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you check out my other nib reviews. And if you are looking for inking tips, tricks, and tutorials, I have several playlists for that. Everything for this year is in Inktober 2017. Uh, there's a lot of great stuff last year in my Inktober Art Snacks playlist. And then from stuff from all over the year, uh, you can check out my Advanced Inking Technique playlist and find hopefully what you're looking for there. So I hope you guys have a great day and I hope to see you soon. Bye.